Hello, people of the internet! I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So, yeah, I'm more than a little bit ticked off about the last episode. When I thought the ending was going perfectly alright, it ended up freeze-framing on me again. So, yeah, there's that. Anyways, since the main storyline for Dark Souls is technically almost done, all that's really left for me to do is the side quests, which pretty much, in, well not side quests, but the DLCs. And I currently have two DLCs that I haven't touched, and I won't touch until I beat the Crown of the Sunken King, which involves this boss fight, possibly that giant dragon afterwards, and that trio of people. So, first off for this episode, I am going to try this friggin' queen person. I have been waiting here for a while to see if I could get an NPC summon, but, you know, it doesn't like me this game, apparently. So, I don't have an NPC summon for me. Oh well. Guess we're just gonna have to do this with some, um, uh, or not NPC summon, we do a... We clearly have the NPC summons. We don't have an actual person summon. Is what I meant to say. Okay. We know we can almost kill this witch if she doesn't pull junk like that. All right, drink. Nope, I'm not on my flasks. Darn it! Why am I not? Why don't I have my flasks equipped? Drink and. Drink again. Okay, she's summoning five of something from the looks of it. Soul Vortex! Which did pretty much next to nothing. I kind of hoped that would do more significant damage. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! You're gonna die if you don't move, dude! Oh, man. <clears throat> okay. These guys are thankfully easier to kill than giant golden golem, dude. Oh, I thought that she was doing her raised hand. I'm gonna nuke shit attack. No, she's just gonna pull that crap again. Alright. Oh, come on, woman. Stop beating me up. Stop being a bully to me. Okay, drink. She's summoning again. Again, she's not summoning her big guy. Which I am very grateful for, actually. I thank you for being considerate to me and not summoning... Oh, crap! Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Die! Roll! And die! I need to drink fast! Okay. Oh, I thought she was summoning something again. It looked like she was, but she wasn't, thank goodness. Uh, great. She's doing homing humana humanity things. Darn it! Stop nailing me with your attacks, woman! Stop it! Okay, gotta drink, gotta drink, gotta drink. My two NPC phantoms are both almost dead. That's not good. Not eating good in the neighborhood right now. Oh, crud. She's, picking, she's bringing out the big boy. Roll, man, roll! <clears throat> this was going so well, or this was going decently well enough, too. But then she just had to bring out the big guy after summoning two rounds of skeletons. She decides to bring out big and ugly. Not ugly, rather, but just big and mean. And there goes my other phantom. So there goes my chances of killing her, as so long as she's got her golden guardian boy there. I have no chances, because I try and take a drink, she... Or he's going to do a running charge and like that. Okay, so I'll come back to you guys when I respawn, possibly. Alright everybody, I'm back this time standing outside the fog gate for the trio of enemies. I actually have the two NPC phantoms with me this time. And I'm not going to bother killing those things, because they've been the death of me too many times. Anyways, let's head into the fog gate and see what we have. Okay, afflicted grave robber, ancient soldier, and Sarah the, Sarah, the old explorer, 
and two of them are proceeding to quickly kick my butt. Uh, we need to hide, hide, and drink. Really, why are you homing in on me? Like seriously, homing on my phantoms, that's what they're here for, they're here for fodder purposes. Alright, looks like they've got my phantoms attention, or not. Really, dude, I've got two perfectly good phantoms to target, you know. So you could stop attacking me. Okay, good. And... Whoa. He's got a bit of power behind him. All, all three of them do, to be honest. Ow! Dude, what's with the smashy smash? Okay. Backstab! He's got... He's a tank. Okay, this guy is a literal tank. Ouch! Come on, get back! Yes, backstabs! Backstabs for the wins! Okay, he's got a lot of... He's physically quite imposing. How does he do magically, though? He's got a good amount of MR, too. Okay. Rapacious is getting teamed up on. I need to drag some of the aggro off of him. Okay, come on. No. Bad big guy. Bad. This is gonna be... This is not easy. If I had three actual people, I could probably... This could pro This is probably an easier battle. But with two NPCs, this is darn right impossible to pull off with any amount of ease! Really, man, I was... See, it's stuff like that that gets me. They just managed to hit me when they shouldn't. See, I wasn't even near him and he hit me. I think that the other guy, though, might be at least out of the fight for now. Not my rapacious guy, but... The other fan, the other enemy, simply because he's so low down, I don't think he can actually get back up. Though knowing me, I'm probably dead wrong. Like the emphasis on dead, and I am. Yep, I am dead wrong on him not being able to get back up. Okay, he is probably physically the second weakest, given the amount of damage I can do. One swing of my blade. Darn it! Okay, this is so not good. Why can't I actually ever get, like, legitimate people to help me out here? I'm out of flasks now. Lovely. And did the last flask not even heal me? Really? Okay, Ruined Alphys is my only remaining phantom. And they just went down as well. Alright. Still, the Ancient Soldier and Afflicted Grave Robber are... The Ancient Soldier just healed somehow. He freaking healed! I'm ki I'm taking at least one of these suckers down. Or not. Because he stunlocks me with one swing, but two swings doesn't even stunlock that dude. Lovely. Alright, everybody. We're back at this evil queen. And this time, we actually have a player phantom! Oh my gosh! We might actually do this now, because we'll actually have an actual per person actually helping. Back away! Ow! I thought I was far enough back for that. To avoid that attack. Okay. Just want to be careful about her backswing. Okay, she's summoning that guy now which I hate I hate her golden guardian wait is she seriously summoning another okay she isn't that was just a bugged out animation I guess I don't know I need to drink that flask quickly thank you get that aggro off me please dude please and thank you are the magic words which I am stating right now Oh, no, bad, 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 this is bad, 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 bad. 
drink. Alright, Ben Hart. Continue tanking. No! Golden dude! Why are you after me? Stop aggroing on me! Just when your queen teleports doesn't mean you have to egg ouch! You mean you have to switch your aggro to me? I mean seriously, that's probably the worst reason to switch your aggro. It's just because your queen disappeared. Okay. He's pulled the aggro of Goldilocks. Ouch. That hurt. I've drunk a flask. Where did the queen go? There she be. Okay. Having a human player really, really is helping this fight out. He is a beast with that Goldilocks. Or, he's not even Goldilocks. I don't know why I'm calling him Goldilocks. He's Goldie Statue. Okay, she's doing her human, her homing humanity bomb last thing. She's gonna burst! Soul Spear of Destiny! Did nothing. Oh no, you are going down! You are down! Thank you so, so much, dude. Oh my god. God, thank you. You have no idea how thankful I am to you, dude. You have absolutely no idea, Perfimus. No idea, man. You saved my day. Whew! I'll be right back, people. Okay, sorry there. I just wanted to make sure that was captured on my film because Dear Lord, if that had not been captured, you don't know how ticked off I would have been. Huh. Looks like we might end up having another fit, another um, boss fight right up ahead. This time with two NPC phantoms. Let me just make sure I'm still going to be recording real quick. Alright, yep, still recording. So, let's tra summon Transcendent. Eddie and Abess Fiva. Abess Fiva sounds like some sort of fun thing. Ooh, you are a dragon man. I like you, Transcendent Eddie. He actually bows. Wow, he is unique. All right, hooray for Quagmire. Poison ahead. By the way, be wary of equipment breakage. Oh boy, not equipment breakage. I hate equipment breakage. All right. Big empty area, try pure luck, do it. Bravery, by the way, don't give up. I won't. Also, something I figured I might as well try after this if I end up dying. Oh, hello, Mr. Dragon. If I end up dying to him is, wait, you're not a dragon, you're a wyvern. You imposter. You, oh no, no, you do have small, very, I think, yep, you have very small front paws. So you are a dragon. My bad. I did not mean to call you an imposter, Mr. Dragon. But anyway, something I figure I might as well trouch. Not trouch. Something I might as well try after this, if I do lose, is rejoining the Sun Bros Covenant. Because I forgot that gives me a boost in multiplayer visibility by letting me connect easier with members of the said covenant. Okay, this guy has some pretty high MR. Ow! Dude, that didn't even... You barely swept me. Alright. Aw, uh, you got lucky there, you dragon, you. Even so, my thing hit only for seven. This guy's got a lot of HP I can... Ow! Dude, you should your flames can't... Huh? That doesn't make sense. Your flames aren't supposed to be able to hit the ground right in front of you. Or right behind you, rather. Okay. This is definitely gonna be one of the harder fought battles of my Dark Souls career, I think. Because I'm actually versing an actual live dragon. Oh, there's an item there, too. Cool. Uh, Abyss Fiva is gone. I hadn't even been paying attention to their health, to be perfectly honest, so I had 
had no idea they were that low. Alright. And this dragon's name, I had forgotten to actually check it. It looks like it's Sin. Really horrible time to cut out there on me, Aver. But hey, you're Aver, what can I expect? Except for constant cutting. Oh! Toxic! You gotta be kidding me. Thing has toxic! That's bad. Uh, good thing I did. Ouch. I'm dead. Yep. Toxic killed me in the end. Oh well. Time to rejoin the Sun Bros Covenant. And does he have a spear in him? Alright, we're. Alright, we're going in for try number two. If I don't succeed with this try, you guys probably won't end up seeing it. Because I probably just won't put it in the footage. But, uh. I have actually looked up a bit of a guide for this guy, and apparently that is a spear sticking out of his chest. But also apparently I want to avoid hitting his torso as it causes an acid sort of effect. So yeah. Wow, hitting is wailing on his legs and I'm doing some pretty significant damage. Hey there people, I'm sure many of you are wondering why I'm not currently fighting Sin, why there's no fog gate, and why I've got a crown on my head. Well, for once, it's not Aver's fault, at least I'm not sure it is, but um, while recording during that fight, it had cut out like shortly after that, my last bit of dialogue, and I thought it was just a signal loss. It happens all of the time with Aver, but apparently this time, Fraps decided to crash. So, I didn't manage to get any of that footage recorded. So, you guys saw the opening of my second and successful attempt at fighting Sin, the slumbering dragon, but you guys didn't get to see the conclusion of it, sadly, which really saddens me, because... I can't re even redo it because of Dark Souls' autosave features. I mean, look, it's autosaving right now. It probably saved more than a dozen times during that fight. But, um, if I could do, like, some sort of animation of it, I would. And if sometime in the future I do manage to figure out how, I'll see about splicing in sort of, like, a crude drawing animation of me and the two phantoms fighting up against Sin, huh? But, right now, that's sort of out of the question. But, just to summarize it, I pretty much just wailed on his legs for a while. My weapons did get highly degraded, as you can clearly see. I didn't lose any of the phantoms, because, um, that abyss, or abyss person, ended up being a healer, surprisingly enough, who could actually cure the toxic, and had a pretty cool miracle where she, like, he or she shot up a lightning orb into the sky and it just started splaying small lightning bolts everywhere it was kind of cool even if it did little to no damage but still it was just a matter of me wailing on him staying underneath him and eventually Sinha went down for the count and when they went down I got like 70,000 souls or something like that and I also ended up picking up two items along the way the first was from this corpse over here. There's a message that states master. Well, I suppose in a degree they are a master, but not a very good one because from this corpse, I got the Yorg's ring. Ring of Sir Yorg, who sought the blood of a dragon and invaded Shalva. It can deflect spells. When Sir Yorg faced Sin, slumbering dragon he drew blood with a flash of his steel aka that giant spear that was sticking out of sin but sin responded by spewing forth the poison that had long brewed within him blanking blanketing the city in a miasmic cloud so aka sinna is responsible for this whole city being a toxic wasteland and yorgi here was the one that caused it by trying to seek out a dragon to kill i mean who wants to kill dragons really dude that was just a low blow for you Anyways, the second thing that happened was when he died, Sin died over here, there was a poison, a toxic cloud that stuck around here for a little while, but more importantly, there was this giant 
glowing, well not really giant, but there was this glowing red orb, or just reddish orange orb right around here. And when I picked it up, it gave me the crown of the sunken king. Yes, a crown that gives me some decent status buffs, some poison, blood, bleeding, petrification resistance, and the crown of the sunken king who once ruled this land. The king erected the eternal sanctum below the earth to worship the great dragon, but the towering bulwark crumbled with the city shortly after the dragon's awakening. But these were events of long ago, and today, no one even remembers the king's name. So sad. That's a very, that's a very real fear of mine to not be remembered at the end. Uh, anyways, the crown, in addition to providing those resistances, also apparently increases my endurance, strength, dexterity, and faith by one point, but lowers my vigor and vitality by one point as well. But it's a crown, and a crown is a crown, so for now, the future king of this land, of all the lands in this world, will wear his crown. Anyways, I'm gonna head to Majula to spend these souls on leveling up and possibly just, like, I don't know, upgrading my armor, maybe? Since right now, this seems to be the armor I'm sticking with. Um, and yeah, just stuff like that, and I'll be back because I have decided I'm on a roll today. I killed a evil poisonous queen, and I killed a dragon, regretfully enough. So now I'm gonna kill three friggin' cursed adventurers. So, see you guys soon, I hope. Alright, take who knows out of how many, out of how cares, for this triple boss fight. Hopefully I don't break the record for, um, fastest death this time. Yeah, I made it to just there before I had died this most recent time. Though, you guys won't know that if I end up resetting again. That seems to actually be a very common thing, sadly, that I have to keep resetting. Okay. We drew Syrah into using their melee weapon. And they don't seem to have a ouch. I take back whatever I was going to say that was going to be insulting to them. Okay. Let them fire off their shot first. Which magically hits. Okay. Even though I was mid-roll. Again, a magically hitting shot. Back away, back away. Good, good, good. Take a shot. A flask. A la Estes. Really? Zara? How are you hitting me when I roll? Really? That's just cheap. Uh, Rapacious and Ruined are doing meh right now. I really want to get Sarah down though so that those other two lose their range support. I don't want to die myself. Whoa. Okay. Flask. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. Why are you both on me now? Why? 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 Run. I need to run. Why did they both suddenly aggro on me? That's not good. Why? Why are you guys on me now? What did I do to you? Yes, I'm beating up your friend, but that's it. I'm just beating your friend to a pulp. That's no reason to start hitting me. Both of you need to chill out and just die. So that I can kill your friend. And that means I need to backstab you until you get that message through your thick skulls. Then I'll backstab you till you're dead. Yeah, you afflicted grave robber. How does it feel to be constantly backstabbed? I bet it doesn't feel good, does it? Does it, you afflicted grave robber? What are you afflicted with anyways? Some sort of disease or poison or something similar, huh? Huh? You're not so tough. You're not so tough when I constantly backstab you, huh? Are you? You're pretty weak, aren't you? You're the weakest of the trio, aren't you? Sarah actually has brain strength, though. But you, you're just a coward. You, you, you. You're gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna die. Real. You're dead. You're dead. I'm fucking brave. You're dead. Yeah. It's 
one of them down. Hoorah, mother trucker. All right, we have the ancient soldier and Sarah. Let's get a backstop in on the ancient soldier. Oh crud, we're in the water, which slows us down. Being slowed is not a good thing. Very bad thing, very bad. Okay, um... Zora, backstab! Take, taste my backstabby, backstabbiness, Zora. Zora, let's go down. Back up, back up, back up, mother trucker, back up. Break quickly. Rapacious is gonna go down at this rate. Roll! Oh, Sarah! No, no, no. Back away, back away, back away and get some healing now. Rapacious, I don't care if you go down. Just keep them distracted while I heal up. Rapacious, you're doing great, man. Rapacious, you took down Sarah. I'm so happy for you, Rapacious. You leave only the ancient soldier known as Varg to be killed. And kill him. Ruined and I shall. Rapacious, you were an amazing soldier. I am very proud to have summoned you. You possibly, probably just turned this whole fight. Oh no, Aver, no, now is not the lag time. Now is now is so not the time to be lagging on me. Use the magic within and stab! Yes! They're dead. Oh, the trio has been defeated. At last, we obtain three Twinkling Titanite, three Petrified Dragon Bones, and Titanite Slab. Oh, we got these creepy red-eyed statues staring at us. Let's just roll by them and see what these trickers were guarding. Fine work and short hurrah for victory. An item, Black Weed Balm. That best be something real amazing, man. I swear. Uh, Blackweed Bomb. Temporary increases intelligence? Really? I know need that. I play any smarts. I got smarticles out of the particles. Alright, what do we have in here, though? Seriously, uh... It's not a trap chest. A flower skirt. That ticks me off more than a little bit. Silence. And that just leads. There's... Tell me that they're joking. That there's something... Anything... Please... Else be around here. Please. Otherwise I'm gonna be very ticked off. And probably cry to myself once this recording is done. For all of the ancient... For all of the freaking um, effort I had put into this. <clears throat> um, you know what? I'm just going to look this up. Uh, it says there should be two metal chests. I've only seen one. So let's try and find that second chest. Because otherwise I'm going to cry probably. At the amount of effort that went towards nothing. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not tearing up at all. I am so not tearing up in anger. Okay, let's check the waterways. The waterways, the waterways gotta hide something, right? Right? Uh, petrifying statues. That's not really something good to be. Where? Where are you, other metal chest? Please, you're making me so pissed right now. So pissed. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, come on. Maybe, maybe I have to fall over here. Maybe I just have to fall. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I just need to go down here. That's all there is to it. I just go down here. Back into Shelva the Sanctum City. Um. Weapon? I had? 
Where is this weapon? I'm pretty sure I've been here before. I'm not going to be frustrated. Did, that was the Dark Great Sword, wasn't it? I got that before, didn't I? Um, because that's what it says it should be there. Yeah, I've gotten the Dark Great Sword. Okay. So, I defeated a trio of enemies for 60,000 souls or so. And a lot of mental anguish for nothing. Oh, I will meet you guys all back at the bonfire because I have to scream into a pillow or something similar. All right, everybody, my voice is a little bit sore from all that screaming I just did, but I did it. I have conquered the crown of the Sunken King DLC, which means that we can move on to the next DLC area. And according to the, just like, order of the way we're supposed to travel, well actually, uh, according to this, we were probably supposed to, no, this is the first in the DLC area on the bonfire thing. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't realize, this all showed up after I had gotten, I think, the King's Ring. Yeah, it shows the amount of bonfires in each area and their kindling level if they can be kindled. Uh, for example, the only place we really are currently missing a bonfire is the Forest of the Fallen Giants, but I know where that bonfire is. But everywhere else, we've gotten pretty much all the bonfires, which is quite nice. Anyways, the next place that we're going to is... The Iron Keep. Of course, um... Wait, why did I go there? Alright, I can't fast travel to the primal bonfire stuff. Anyways, I'm still talking right now even though it's past 30 minutes simply because I want to get to where the next area that we're going to start off the next episode at is, if that makes any sense to you at all. But uh, yeah, we're going to be going on to the next DLC area which is the crown of the old Iron King, I believe it was. The name of this when I purchased it, I honestly don't remember. Um, but yeah. We're going to be going to that DLC area next. Oh, I forgot about these Turtle Knight dudes. I thought I was never going to see you guys again. Aw, oh, did you miss me? Certainly you did not, given the fact that you just crushed me almost like a bug. I forgot, you are immune to backstabbies. But you're not immune to being pummeled and pummeling me in turn. I'm not going to care about health right now because there's no more enemies along the way. Anyways, so... I feel like an idiot now, because I just missed that walkway, but you get the idea of where we're going. Well, that's a way to end an episode with me falling in lava. But, um, anyways, next time we will be starting the Crown of the Old Iron King DLC area. Yeah, we finally beaten the Crown of the Sunken King, which I am very grateful for. Anyways, like I said, that's for next time. So, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you want to check out more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. And outside of all of that, I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody, and bow to your sunken king, which is me.